Alright, what's up guys? Uh, it's Trigger2295 here, and uh, if you notice a difference in the audio, that's because I'm using my new Alesis Multimix 4 USB mixer to record myself. So, uh, let me know how the audio is. Um, but anyway, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, I'm giving you guys a little rundown of my Cubase, uh, Cubase LE5. Uh, for those of you who are, are not familiar with Cubase LE5, it's not like the actual studio, for like the versions that you'd find in a studio like Cubase 5 or Cubase 6. Uh, Cubase LE5, I'm not sure if they came out with an LE6 yet, I doubt it, but I, I don't know yet, I'm, I still got LE5. But uh, yeah, so uh, Cubase LE5 is limited edition and it comes with a lot of uh, different uh, pieces of equipment. Mine I got with my Digitech RP355 uh, effects pod, uh, pedal or pedal board, whatever you want to you know, call it. Uh, but yeah, so I got Cubase LE5 with that. And uh, pretty much the difference is how much stuff it comes with. It, it comes with less stock plugins uh, for Cubase LE5 than Cubase 5 or 6 or any of those. So uh, anyway, I'm going to open up Cubase now and I'm going to show you uh, different plugins and uh, different, actually really that's about it, v different VST plugins that I use to make my audio sound as good as I possibly can get it. Uh, I'll also show you a little clip of before, kind of a before and after kind of thing. Uh, before, first off, uh, I want to say, it was, uh, there's, there's one thing in there I'm, I'm going to show you that I'm not using anymore. So that's going to be kind of the before and afters for the drums. And if you look at another tutorial I did, uh, it was the SR, SR202. It was a drum machine. And, uh, yeah, I don't use that anymore. I mean, I'd use it every once in a while, I think. I'm not, I mean, I don't really know the last time I used that, but for this song, I'm working on now. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, Fruity Loops for the drums. And I'll show you guys, if not in this tutorial, if I run out of time or something. Uh, if I don't show you in this tutorial, I'll show you in another one how I uh, get the drums into Cubase and all that stuff. So this is the song I'm working on now. Uh, that's for, with, with the drums, like I said, how it sounds. So uh, instead of opening that up and having it take quite a while... I'll, actually, I'll open up iTunes in a little bit. But, uh, so I'm going to start a new project, uh, empty. And like I said, mainly I'm not going to be recording anything, but I'm just going to be sh giving you like a rundown of everything that Cubase LE5 has to offer, or at least a lot of stuff that it does. So starting off, this is the general layout of Cubase. Um, yeah, this I think is a standard Cubase layout in any Cubase. You know, have it be LA, LE5 or Cubase 5 or 6 or whatever. Uh, so anyway, you right click and you can go to, you can right click, which is like a shorter way to do it, or you can go to, I want to say it's uh, project, add track, yeah. And then audio instrument, you can add a MIDI track, uh, effects channel. Uh, that's where you group everything together. And you can add different effects and it'll affect that, just that channel but it'll affect all the things that you have uh, in that channel and then you could also add a video I tried this my processor cannot handle it at all it didn't work at all for me it froze up and it actually kinda locked up on me so I have not tried that anymore <laughs> but uh yeah, mainly I just use the audio instrument and MIDI tracks. I in this new one I am getting more familiar with the effects tracks and the group channels. So I'm starting to utilize more of the tools that L, uh, Cubase LE5 offers. And then uh, let's see. Starting, I'm gonna start over here first. Uh, file. You have your new project. You can open a project. Uh, close. That I think is just using pretty much this X over here to close the window. I'm not sure. I haven't done that. Uh, of course, save, save as, backup project. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not quite sure. Uh, save as template. I think if you were to add, like, say, uh, say you have a setup that you like doing for vocal covers, you have uh, mine would, my general setup is a stereo track that I import the song into and then one mono track 
or depending on how clean I want or how close to the audio I want to do it, I might add more than one a mono track uh, just to get that, you know, add the effects to it and try and get it as close as I can to how it actually sounds in the song. Uh, you can import any tracks, you can, any type of tracks you want, and then just save it as a template. And then when you open up Cubase the next time, you'll get a screen and it'll it'll be like the little screen right here and it'll say like is 16 mini tracks or you know a um, podcast kind of thing it's different templates what those is what those what those are and uh that's that's that and then reverb or uh, revert uh, I'm not sure what this is uh again some of these I'm not familiar with cuz I'm I'm actually still getting used to uh, then a lot of new stuff that I'm finding out as I'm finding new stuff out as I go along. But uh, yeah, so then uh, page setup, uh, that is, I think the general layout. You can change the layout. Right now it's not selected, but I think if I add a track, it should be audio track. And of course you have a stereo and mono. You can add or how many tracks you want. You could add right here. You could add however many you, whoop, however many you need. I think it can only go up to 16 though. I'm not sure. I think it's only 16. Oh, that, or that might be the MIDI tracks. But anyway, uh, so yeah. And then, of course, if you select mono, you have middle and stereo left and right. So, yeah. So I'm just going to add that real quick. I'm going to see if page setup is... No. Okay, well then, anyway. Uh, print. Print. I'm not sure what that would be. I think... I don't, I don't know if it would print the layout. Um... Import, of course, you can import your audio file, which is what I do for my covers. Uh, if you're, if you don't know what covers I'm talking about, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, who I am, <laughs> I'm a TMP two two nine five is my other channel. It's where I do a lot of guitar covers, vocal covers, and all that fun stuff. Uh, so go check those out. So um, yeah. <laughs> uh, See, then you can import a video file. Again, that didn't work well for me because my processor cannot handle that. And then, of course, a MIDI file. Um, that's mainly for the drum tracks that I do. Or if you wanted to use the Halion one, uh, you can also import a MIDI track that way. And you can imp import a MIDI file and then use a the Halion one. Or you can just get a free VST uh, VST instrument or what, you know, whatever. And then export as a MIDI file. Uh, I don't. I haven't exported as a MIDI file from here yet. Uh, mainly, you export as an audio mix down. And uh, yeah, that pretty much uh, you can f select whatever type of format, WAV file, MP3, whatever. And then you just select where you want to save it, and you can select. Uh, you you can you can actually change like the artist. You know, say. Uh, I wanted to put mine as Travis as the artist and then buy or song so and so by Travis copyright Travis and it'll actually import it into Windows Media Player or whatever. I'm using a PC by the way, I don't know. Uh Cubase is only a PC uh DAW as far as I know. And uh yeah, and then your preferences, these are like your user preferences. These are just uh you could change the little settings I haven't uh, tweaked with anything in here yet I haven't actually uh, I haven't actually opened up preferences yet uh, hold on real quick okay sorry about that have to get a piece of gum yeah my breath kind of stinks I'm sorry that's a little bit too much information anyway so the key commands I think that kind of shows you like the short keys or whatever I'm not quite sure and then recent pro uh, projects down here. Uh, these are all the projects pretty much I have been working on. And of course, quit. I think that's the one that closes everything out. Close, now that I think about it, I think just closes out this project. So, uh, yeah. And then going over here, edit. We have undo track, redo. Uh, History that just shows you all the stuff that you undid or redid, I think, for that matter. Uh, cut, copy, paste. All these are simple. Split it cursor. Uh, what that means is here, uh, as you can see, this isn't picking up the audio that it, uh, I'm talking into my mic right now because I don't have it registered under the devices. 
which I think I already did a tutorial on that, but if not, I'll just show you how to do that real quick. So I'm using my mixer right now, my uh, Lisa's Multimix 4, and in order to get this to register on here, on Cubase, uh, uh, go to Devices, VST Connection, or you might need to go to Device Setup first, and select the ASIO 4, or, you know, for the sound card, I think it is, and make sure you have the ASIO selected, and you can see, uh, HD mic, yeah, see, the, the output right now is going for the USB audio, uh, that's my mixer, but at, right here, the input is the HD audio mic, which is in my laptop, which is not really a good mic, but it, uh, if I'm in a hurry to record something, it, you know, kind of helps. I apologize for that. Um, yeah, I, again, I can't stress this enough. I don't have the full version of the Microsoft Expression Encoder, uh, so I can only record up to 10 minutes each. And because my channel is not yet uh, enabled to record more than 15 minutes, I have to kind of push for time. Or this might just, actually, no, I'll just make this a two-part series. So, uh, yeah, um, oh, as I was saying, though, go to Devices, Device Setup, select your ASIO driver or whatever your sound card, and then go to VST Connections. And then from here, you'll see this window, Inputs and Outputs. The output right now is going to the USB, which I'm not sure if that's going to be for the recorder as well or if it's just for Cubase as of now. But the Inputs, uh, oh, where are you at? It's not good. Uh, okay, something's not good here. Uh, it should pop up right here, but it's not. So I gotta. Huh. Although it might be because I have the expression encoder uh, running. That might be it. Device setup. Chassia. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, it, it'll pop up like right here in the inputs so that's that and then uh, of course I'm gonna have to stop this video in another minute or so because again I can't record more than uh, 15 minute videos on YouTube yet so please help me get more views so I can uh, so then yeah of course we were at edit and all these uh, Split a curse. You know what? Um, I'm going to stop for now. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to make another video right now. I'm just going to stop this one, and I'll continue it. So uh, just hold on real quick, and uh, that was the main intro to it. And now I'll start slowly progressing and getting more in-depth with uh, Cubase LD5. Okay, so we'll be back. <laughs>